1978's Barracuda, or I guess the Lucifer Project, owes its existence to Jaws, just like a hundred other movies that came out after Spielberg's blockbuster. It involves a small Florida beach community menaced by, guess what, Barracudas. Palm Cove's problems are first noticed by a biologist from a big city university, played by the star of Jake Speed, Wayne Crawford, who also produced, co-wrote, and co-directed the film. He's there to take water samples because he suspects a local company is polluting the water. Everything's on schedule. Security is tight. Papa, look at this. Shut up, Bubba, while your papa's talking. Security. Papa, there, there's a diver and some others messing around with some gadgets out there on the beach property. Oh, I hope this fine actor is in the whole movie. Papa, them kids say they're taking water samples to test for pollution. For who? The university. Somebody should have set fire to that place years ago. Listen, Papa, you call the sheriff and have him arrest them for trespassing. But the diver is still out there. His investigation is immediately discovered, and he spends the rest of the movie playing defense, trying to prove his case to whoever will listen, including the local sheriff and his hot daughter. Problem is, there may be more to this than just killer fish. Talked to the judge's wife this morning. She promised me the judge would be back from Jacksonville at 3 o'clock. Yeah, he was visiting our fine TGI Fridays. Barracuda checks a lot of the boxes for one of these things. Evil Corporation? Check. Polluting the water? Check. Monsters? Check. Hot girl out of nowhere who instantly falls for the outsider main character? Check. Don't you kill that dog movie. Come on, Liberty. Come on. Don't you kill the dog named Liberty. Not this year. Don't you dare movie. What you got there, you bad dog? Drop it. Okay. Whew. Oh no, poor Deadpool. And as I hinted to earlier, there's almost two movies happening simultaneously here. One has Killer Barracuda tearing people up, but there's also an ongoing problem in town where something is making the citizens cranky and aggressive. You simple I'm moron! Sorry. You ran my car on purpose! What are you doing? Call me a liar? I'm not calling you a liar, you Look what you did to my car! But it's a friendly it's little gonna... town you've got here. So, this might look like a silly Jaws knockoff, but there's a lot to like about Barracuda, surprisingly. Sure, the story is familiar, but it does take quite a turn and wins extra bonus points for me when local water coolers become a major plot point. Also, a reveal about this whole thing possibly being a political plot to squelch protesters is both way out of left field and also strangely relevant. And it's got a terrific soundtrack. It's oddly persistent throughout the entire film, like something by Vangelis or Tangerine Dream, although it has a distinct John Carpenter vibe as well. It really helps push the film along, and hell, they thought so highly of it that they advertised the soundtrack in the opening credits. You never see that. I even love that our hero drives around in this goofy dune buggy. I wish Barracuda had a better home video presence than just this featureless full-frame DVD release, but I still recommend picking it up. There's a lot of fun to be had here. What the hell you got against me, boy? I don't know. Who the hell are you? Oh, he's a wise-ass papa. Shut up. 